Fake Walmart vest, $20. TV I walked out with, free. Whenever I park illegally, I always give myself a fake parking ticket before somebody else does it for me. If you choose the wrong spaghetti sauce, you can wash it off using your washing machine. How to never get your things stolen at the beach again. When cutting bagels, put your finger in the stabilization hole to keep it steady. Wear a trainer shirt at the gym and, um, we need to find who made this meme. If a service dog approaches you and he is alone, it means that the owner can't move and is in trouble. Follow him and you will get a free wallet. If you wave your keys in front of a giant house, people will think you own it. If you sit on your hand for 15 minutes before you take a test, it feels like someone else is destroying your future. Next time you're in a hotel, leave your sheets like this when you check out. What a terrible but great idea. Just found out I'm really good at escape rooms. Apparently, if you have a panic attack in the corner, they let you out early. Local landlord says renter is trying to sell his house on Craigslist. This is legal to do. No, it's not. I was lonely until I glued a coffee cup on the top of my car. Now everyone waves at me. Woman went on six dates a week to save on food. I didn't buy groceries for two years. Remember, if she's telling you how horrible her ex was, take notes and do exactly what he did. It obviously worked. She's still talking and thinking about him all the time. Tired of watching your kid? Pack that little guy away for a bit. Uh, you can cut your electricity bill in half by getting one of these. It's crazy. How to speak a foreign language. Step one, go to a foreign country. Step two, speak your mother tongue. Save time Time by crying about two things at the same time. Teacher, write true or false. Truth. Smart. These irresponsible people were not using masks in public transportation. Luckily, my silent but deadly technique never fails. Bro, your fart is a hazard. How are they all reacting like that? Since I have started packaging my trash like this, my neighbors respect me. You won't have a check engine light if you don't have a dash. Follow me for more carton. How to pick up a blue chair off the ground. Just what I was looking for. Life hack. Carve a pumpkin to distract you from the fact you're also a lifeless, round object, putting on a fake smile. Uh -uh. I'm just gonna buzz when I really don't like memes. Uh -uh. When in the shower, tilt your head letting the water in your mouth and nose. The adrenaline from the drowning sensation will make you forget that you hate yourself. Here's a tip, carry a fork with you. If someone tries to rob you, pull the fork out of your pocket and say, thank you, Lord, for this meal I'm about to have, and charge at them with the fork. A kid from my school just got expelled today for pretending to be Russian for eight months. He pretended he couldn't read, write, or talk English. He did good in all of his classes because he had the teachers and principals convinced he had just moved from Russia, so they didn't make him do any work. You can't die in the living room. Breaking news, death rate drops to zero. Cutting your tennis ball in half allows you to store two more balls in each can, saving space. Put your old and broken TV in the box your new one came in and leave it outside. You will save a trip to the dump and teach someone a lesson at the same time. Are you always late for things? Here's a two-step life hack to help. One, figure out what time you should be at the place. Two, simply get there before that time. You will see results instantly. Try it out. You and your child are driving late at night along a deserted road. You come across a van full of money with the driver dead from an apparent heart attack. What lesson do you teach your child? Lift with your legs, not your back. Close your eyes while driving to test your skill level. Got my own house at 17. Hey mom, I'm going to live by myself. Great. Your bags are on the driveway. Movie theater employees hate this simple life hack. Mmm, pasta. Barefoot is still illegal in most stores. So here's a life hack. Life hack. Hung over at work? Set up a ladder and take a nap at the bottom. If you're caught, you can claim you fell and lost consciousness. Life hack. Just accuse your teacher of a war crime. It's actually illegal for teachers to keep the class after the bell as punishment. It violates the gender convention laws on collective punishment. Cooking hack. If you put too much water in your rice, toss a few phones in there. The emptiness inside you can be temporarily replaced with many legal and illegal substances. Turn hot dog water into ice cubes for guests that you don't like. Opera reveals how she manages to stay stress-free at 64. Step one, have a billion dollars. I've been living my entire life wrong. No, you haven't, this is weird. Did you know, wrapping your leg in cabbage. Yes, wrapping your leg in cabbage that will make your life simpler. Realization. If you keep a sword in one hand and the decapitated head of an enemy in the other, you won't touch your face. Life hack. Reverse the bill and make your server pay. Don't embarrass a guy by telling him his fly is open in public. Just be a man. Walk over there and slowly zip it up for him. If you're up really late studying for finals, try swapping your contact solution with coffee for a quick pick-me-up. 
Denny's, what the fuck? If a bear has you stuck in a tree, try to pee in its eyes. This takes practice because bears have tiny eyes, but if you can pull it off, you can say you did something impressive before you died. Today I learned one gallon, about four liters of gasoline contains about 31 million calories. Human daily caloric requirement is 1500 to 2500 depending on the person. One gallon of gasoline contains enough calories to satisfy that requirement for that many days or about 34 to 56.5 years. Therefore, if I chug a gallon of gasoline, I won't need to eat for the rest of my life. Strictly speaking, you're absolutely correct. The original patent from 1891 for a toilet paper roll shows the correct rolling direction in case you ever doubted what to do when your car starts making noises that sound expensive. How I made 150k from trading. 1. Took a small loan of 300k from my dad. 2. Put it into high risk stuff coins. Lost half and got scared. Decided it was time to cash out. Blocked my dad's number. Net profit of 150k secured. When a girl says, I'm cold, don't be an idiot and say, me too. Instead, say, well damn Jackie, I can't control the weather. I just bought my co-worker a get better soon card. They're not sick, I just think they could do better. Being a vegan has been so easy. I literally just stare at the sun and I'm full. Thanks photosynthesis. Pro tip, when ice fishing, bring an action figure of yourself to exaggerate your catch. When a guy tells me he owns a gun, I'm like, uh-oh, what's wrong with your peepee? -pee? Last time I tried to use my peepee -pee on a home intruder, and I got in way more trouble. The cops were pretty upset. The intruder needed counseling, and I'm on a list. Just use a gun. Forgotten your mask? Simply use one of the hundreds discarded in this- Work smart, not hard. What the hell is this? I ordered a cube. Sometimes I actually go on Facebook, and then- Water and bleach in a bottle of Coke was fitted on the roof. It reflects and refracts sunlight, and is equal to 55 watts. Want more romantic warm yellow light? Put urine. Urine contains ammonia. You mix that with bleach, and you will create mustard gas that will kill everyone. Life hack. You can use Tide Pods to wash your laundry. Yeah, you don't need to eat them guys, you can also use them for washing. The soup was hot, so... Very smart. No sign has ever encapsulated my life more than the one this woman is wearing. Please wake me for snacks and drinks. Thank you. Where can I uninstall my period? I think if you download pregnancy, it blocks it for a few months, but then you get a really annoying loud pop-up that doesn't go away for 18 years. Oh my god. It's taken me 18 years to find out that weird shoulder buttons on jackets is to hold your bag in place so it doesn't fall off. Charts to determine risk of bear attack. No risk of bear attack. Really high risk of bear attack. Also no risk of bear attack. Eggs are fantastic for a fitness diet. Don't like the taste? Add cocoa, butter, flour, and bake for 30 minutes. Why does my dad use this nice thermos to keep his burritos warm because your dad is smart. Good morning to everyone. Just saw this on my Facebook and spazzed. That's how you're supposed to do it? I've been pouring it into the strainer just to pour it back into the pan after. Wow. Merry Christmas, idiot. Here's some ketchup. Need a gift idea? Tomato ketchup. No bike lock? No problem. Start every phone call with, my battery is almost dead. That way you can hang up on them at any time. When you've been acting gay for two years and finally get invited to the all girls sleepover. Easiest iPhone glass fix with lasers, not clickbait. Ah yes, my favorite home repair. And to think my laser machine was just sitting on my shelf collecting dust. I love Jerry. When life gives you demons, make demonade. You can cook bagel bites in the oven or the microwave. Where else would you cook bagel bites? Sometimes I don't. Um, if you reach or crave for these things, you may be feeling these emotions. Oh my, it's so clear now. Just let me and my crackers be. They're lonely and sexually frustrated. If you ever forget a girl's name on a date, just call her Muhammad. It's statistically the most popular name in the world, so you'll more than likely be right. No need to thank me for the life hack. Set up a candle in front of your Glade air freshener to throw fireballs across the room to establish dominance in front of your peers. My dad made this for when his girlfriend won't pick a restaurant. Want to extend the length of your essays without doing any work? Simple. Put the word the in two times in a row every time. It will extend the length of your essay quite substantially. Don't believe me? Read this post again. Okay, obviously I'm not gonna read the the because it will ruin the whole meme. And yes, when I did find this meme, it fucked me up. Instead of calling it a to-do list, I've started writing side quests at the top to make it seem more fun and interesting. And boy, has that not worked at all. A gun to your head. You get one song choice. Recite it perfectly. You're free. Mess up. He pulls the trigger. Which song are you picking? Alphabet. I'm not taking no 
risks. Always wear sunglasses when eating lunch in your car. So people think you're an undercover cop and not some loser eating lunch by themselves in a car. Blow cigarette smoke into the kids drinks to make them look haunted. Life hack. Avoid red lights by driving at 1 114 million miles per hour. This velocity will blue shift them enough to appear green. If you have a girlfriend and hear a noise outside at night and you're too scared to go and look, just be like, I told this girl to leave me alone and she will always get up and check for you. If you're feeling bored, you can just close your eyes and rotate a cow in your mind. It is free and the cops cannot stop you. They can try. Only a fool would buy IKEA furniture. Instead, I just download the instructions and keep emailing their missing service department to say that I am missing a piece until they ship me all the pieces over a six month period. Jason, this sounds quite illegal. Nobody, life hack videos. Can't you charge your phone with a potato? Have you guys tried doing that? Just a little life hack to know which key goes in the front door and which key goes in the back door. When the professor is looking for someone to call on, sit in the back directly behind someone, invisible to the professor. Did you know you can use your seatbelt to open beers while driving? No, I didn't. Thanks. 30 crazy ideas for your party. Pro tip. Out of milk? Mayo and- Ugh. I didn't even want to finish this. This makes me sick. Peeling an orange the easy way. Cut the top and the bottom off and make a slice down the side and simply unroll the orange. Don't have a bookmark? Try using Chex Mix instead. Shoot yourself with small caliber bullets to build an immunity to larger ones. I wish it worked like this. Life tip. Bite off the corner of your pizza roll and blow into it for instant and easy cooling. Life is too short for this. You put the whole thing in your mouth and then do that open chewing thing while exhaling the flames like a dragon. If you mix Tabasco in with your hand sanitizer, it will not only kill germs, but will also teach you to not touch your face and eyes. Got something you need to do at a certain time every day? For example, take meds. Start giving your cat a treat right before you do it. You may have trouble remembering, but your cat absolutely will not. That's a damn good advice. A cat wrote this. Actor Robert Patterson once dealt with an obsessed fan who had been camping outside his apartment by taking her out on a dinner date and boring the life out of her. I just complained about everything in my life and she never came back. You can get a kid's meal at Culver's for $6 even if you're over 12 years old. They don't ID you. This tiny tool can make any pair of headphones wireless. People are much more likely to return a missing wallet if a picture of a child is found inside. Okay, I'm gonna print an old picture out of myself and just put it in my wallet. Where has this been all my life? Jane is living in 3047 while us suckers are living in 2023. 24. Oops. Unsociable people. Simply pop your coat on before answering your front door. If it's someone you don't want to see, you can say you are on your way out. In the unlikely event, it's someone you do want to see. You can simply say you've just arrived home. When your gingerbread fails, add a dinosaur. When you think about it, if you say you're into chests and booty instead of tits and bobs, you feel less like a pervert, more like a pirate. How to get the butter to the bottom of the popcorn. The, the but- what? I have- what is butter? Chad, is this real? Never seen this before. When you ask a girl out, there's a 50% chance that she will say yes. You can increase these odds by carrying a handgun. Women love guys who can protect themselves. Bonus points if you shoot near her, as she will see that you can handle the weapon well and love you even more. Please, can we investigate life lamp advice on Twitter? Going to get my man SoundCloud link tattooed on my butt. So when I cheat on him, it's not really cheating, it's just a promotion. Before you scrap an old dryer, pop off the tumblers and open the side panels with a screwdriver. The average American uses $10 worth of toilet paper a month. For $10, you could buy 3.7 million Velaswanian Bolivars, I think. Enough to wipe your butt for at least two years. For only $250, upgrade your room to a smoking room. This is a non-smoking room. If smoking occurs during your stay, a 250 cleaning fee. I don't remember who posted this on Twitter a few years ago, but whoever you are, you have improved every night I've spent at a hotel since. Ants hate chalk. Draw a chalk ring around your drink or outline your coasters and they won't cross the line. Summertime hack. I'm about to draw a sea bear circle around my next picnic when you have no idea what you're doing but pretend like you do. I actually know what this is doing. Life pro tips. When you sign up for anything online, put the word
website name as your middle name. That way, when you receive spam slash advertisement emails, you will know who sold your information. Fortune 500 companies, he's too dangerous to be kept alive, are Tom and Jerry best friends. Tom and Jerry are best friends, but Tom has to pretend to hate Jerry in order to protect Jerry. So Tom's owner doesn't replace Tom with a cat that actually wants to kill Jerry. Life just got more interesting. Want someone to stop texting you? Send them this message. Service error 305. Message delivery failed. Further messages will be charged to your account. Batteries dead in your smoke alarm? Just use popcorn as a smoke alarm. When you hear cracking, grab your popcorn and get the hell out. This farm owner was denied a council permit to build a horse shelter. Fortunately, you don't need a permit to build a table and chairs. How to cheer up in two easy steps. One, whisper beep boop to yourself. Repeat until not sad. But why does this work? Plug your nose. Say snap stop. Try saying boop da boop doop. Try and say bubbles. The last one will work. I promise you. It didn't work. What the fuck? Life is short. Make sure you spend as much time as possible on the internet arguing with strangers about politics. If you really want to piss someone off when introducing them, make little finger quotation marks in the air when announcing their job title. Tip. When making a doing it tape, play Disney music in the background. That way, if it gets leaked online, Disney attorneys will have them all taken down. Next time your girl annoys you, reply, he's busy, and turn off your phone for an hour. Follow me for more relationship advice. Bathroom tip. Going number two. Discreetly cover up your poop sounds by continually shrieking at the top of your lungs. Stop blaming everyone for all of your problems. Pick one person you hate and blame them for everything. 29 little life hacks that could save your life. Is that a Game Boy cartridge case? This is a legit life hack because keeping a condom in your wallet is bad news. The friction from it being in your pocket or jostled around wears down the latex and can cause it to tear. If you keep one on you in a Game Boy cart case, that won't be an issue because no one will want to have sex with you. Want to know a real adult life hack? Don't tell anyone you have a day off. Absolutely no one. How to be good at talking. 1. Polite greeting. 2. Name. 3. Relevant personal link. 4. Manage expectations. Hello, my name is Vazkal. You killed my father. Prepare to die. Practical advice. If all the toilets in your house are occupied and you are waiting for one to be free, switch off the Wi-Fi. This bath mouthpiece allows you to breathe during a house fire. Her dad took out the door screws in her first apartment and she's warning everyone to do the same. It's basically for home intruders, so the small one is what is normally provided and the long one is what the dad installed, so it's a lot harder to break into. Wow, I appreciate this. Definitely doing this when I move. Pro tip, leave full beers all over your driveway tonight so when you shovel tomorrow, you will find some buried treasure. I wish it snowed like this in UK, but I hate beer. Cider's way better. I mean, I'm gonna assume most of you can't drink though. I mean, I actually don't know how old some of you are. Because I imagine some of you are obviously quite young, and then some of you are quite old. Old? Well, not old, but my age. 19, 20. Uh, uh, definitely a mixture, because memes can be for everyone. That's why it's cool, I guess. I'm gonna drink some water now. Time for a water break. Uh, oh fuck. Uh -uh. Oh god, that's bad. I took two of this medication. Oh, that's bad. Hold on. Breaking news. Today, I used a piece of wood that I kept in my garage since 2006, in case I might need it. Americans have not colonized me. Some of the people in the comments are like, say garage. No. My, my vocabulary is a mixture of American English and British English. It's kind of weird, especially when I'm speaking to people in real life, because some people think I'm American or- I, I don't know, it's really weird. But then, to an American I sound British. It's really- it is really strange. <laughs> what reading memes does to a person. My classmate came to our geography exam, wearing a shirt with the world map. The teachers couldn't make him undress, of course. Apparently, you can reheat pizza by turning your toaster on its side. You're welcome. If you stain a shirt, you can simply outline the stain with a sharpie and give it a name. This will make it seem like you visit islands. Next time a conspiracy theorist tries to tell you what really happened, present a more outlandish theory and accuse them of covering up the truth, conspiracy theorist. The moon landing was fake. Me. <laughs> you believe in the moon? How would you write, I changed a light bulb on your resume, single-handedly managed the successful upgrade and deployment of new environmental illumination system with zero cost overruns and zero safety incidents. Life hack. What? Life hack. I guess banana bread. I'm gonna be honest guys, I used to hate bananas, but I had them about 
I would say last year, some sometime last year, I had one and I enjoyed it. So if anyone who was scared of trying a banana or eating a banana, don't be scared. Just try it, they're good. Not banana bread though, I don't I still don't like banana bread. There is literally no law that says you can't put your friends down as your references and pretend they were your bosses at your old job. Literally there's no law that says that. If you can't think of a word, say, I forgot the English word for it. That way, people will think you're bilingual instead of an idiot. An amazing life hack to stop your siblings from entering your room to stop anyone from entering your room including yourself if you're changing your life around you say 180 not 360 i did a complete 360 i'm back on my bullshit <coughs> oh my god four I really want to try and do five for a video, but five is quite difficult to push out. Six, I think I have done six, just it wasn't recorded. My son needs help with his algebra homework, so I snuck out the back door and started a new life in Costa Rica. Nihilists, life has no meaning, I know. Existentialists, life has no meaning, I will make my own. Absurdists, life has no meaning, I don't care. When naming your firstborn child, you can cause a stack overflow in the system's memory by naming it that allowing you to sideload unsigned external code and run doom. A fun life hack is to be consistently kind and loving and wholesome. That way, whenever you meet someone who deeply dislikes you, they seem like a big angry weirdo. No, because then you're just not being yourself. Just be yourself. And if people don't like you or you don't like other people, fuck them. When you put stuff like spaghetti in Tupperware, you need to rinse it with cold water first. If you do it with hot water, the color gets washed in. Yep, there's an actual life hack for the video. What your headache is telling you, more sleep. Drink water slash eat food. Reduce sources of stress. Okay, I don't, I don't know how you stop the stress one. Avoid wasting time brushing your teeth by simply adding toothpaste to your food instead. If you wake up earlier on weekends, then you can sleep in five days a week instead of two. If you hold your breath long enough, you will get to the point where you will never need oxygen for the rest of your life. Need to whip up a dessert in a hurry? Dump a bag of Oreos on the floor and eat the Oreos off the floor like an animal, you piece of shit. The f- Why? Why? What? 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 Why? Why was that last part necessary? Since we're having a baby in a couple of months, the Discord is discussing parenting life hacks. Give your baby a dollar immediately after birth before they receive their social security number. When they receive their social security, their value is reset automatically to zero. Now, take back that dollar. Baby now has negative value. The social security buffer can't handle a negative number, so it immediately flips it around to the highest 32-bit integer, letting your baby start life with <laughs> that amount of money. Why did the prisoner choose the bread instead of the key? If you know the answer, you're a philosopher. Uh, guess I'm not a philosopher. Fuck! Why not? I wish I was a philosopher. Hey. I, I actually think it's because people prefer short-term satisfaction over long-term satisfaction. Or well, this guy is just a foodie and he just doesn't care about being trapped. Or maybe he isn't trapped and the perspective we're seeing it from is hell and he's in heaven. Like he's in the good side and we're in the bad side. I don't think there is any answer. I think it's just interpretation, right? This is pretty much a reflection of how your brain thinks. If you find a hair on your food, heavily salt it before sending it back to the kitchen to make sure you got a new order. If you ever get a flat tire, take a picture of it on your phone for future reference. You can use it for a valid excuse. I mean, this just seems like stuff like this will come back to bite you in the ass. I kinda believe in karma. I don't know, man. Stop buying tomatoes. Here's how to grow an endless supply of tomatoes right at home. For some reason, I definitely thought this was going to be one of those infinite chocolate things, or like some really weird trick involved. Literally, it's just put the tomatoes in some dirt and they grow into more tomatoes. Which, like, yeah, that is how plants work, but I don't know if it's a life hack. Don't plant more than one slice. My mom only planted one and ended up with 62 plants and over 500 tomatoes. This life hack is too powerful. You will literally get an endless supply. Supply. Grocery stores hate him. Local man discovers gardening. Add a touch of life to your outfit by tying your hair back with a very tiny snake. A must have this season. Little snakes. Okay, I'm terrified of spiders, but how are you scared of snakes? How are people scared of snakes? What are you scared about with snakes? Most of them are harmless, I think. I, <laughs> I'm not an expert. I guess you could say the same about spiders though, couldn't you? This got me unstuck two times in the last 12 hours. Stuck in the snow on your travels? Take your floor mat from the car and place them under the wheels to get traction. I had to read this at work today and it's the funniest thing ever. To all employees, it has been brought to the management's attention that some individuals have been using foul language in the 
the course of normal conversation between employees. Due to complaints from some of the easily offended workers, this conduct will no longer be tolerated. The management does, however, realize the importance of each person being able to properly express their feelings when communicating with their fellow employees. Therefore, the management has compiled the following code phrases so that the proper exchange of ideas and information can continue. Old phrase versus new phrase. We're just gonna pick a random one. What the fuck is equal to interesting behavior. A good way to find out if you're truly old is to fall in the street. If people laugh, you're still young. And if they rush to help you, you're old. Does anyone else get really embarrassed when they fall off or like fall off a bike or even trip over in public? I genuinely feel like I've just been caught, I don't know, taking a shit naked. Like I'm so embarrassed. It's like, oh, don't look at me. I'm in shame. Maybe that was the wrong comparison, but I think you get the point, right? I like, I like, I like actually cringe at myself when I fall over. I remember I was on my bike driving to the shops. It was at night and I completely just, I tried going up the curb because I thought I was quite experienced in biking and I wasn't and I fell. Thank God no one saw, but the fall, it w the fall wasn't painful. It hurt more mentally. <laughs> recently created a second Discord profile recently, setting it up with a female persona. Pretend it's a real person and talk to it like it's my girlfriend. I take turns swapping between profiles to respond to myself, can go hours at a time, have started forming a proper relationship with myself and can actually see her as a person, can actually formulate thoughts and a personality I adopt when talking as her, have begun to miss her whenever I'm at work. What does it mean, bros? Should I keep this up? I've been way happier since I found her. I guess the only thing I've done in comparison to this, which I mean, this is good. This is actually good advice what you can do. Uh, create like a notes thing on your phone or whatever you use, Discord, a channel, and talk to yourself in the future. So tomorrow you. Teenagers, today I'm going to teach you how to make your parents stop smoking. One, get close to them when they are smoking so that you can breathe in the smoke. Get lung cancer. When you're on your deathbed, make sure your last words to your parents are, this is all your fault. Diane Prophet, how do you know they'll stop smoking though?